Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flatermouse. In this episode of You Make It, We Shoot It, we have something called the Minye Ball. And these were created by a YouTuber named Michael Yeah. Now Michael is 16 years old, and last year he sent us these 3D printed Diablo shaped slugs that nobody thought would work, but they worked absolutely wonderfully. Now this time he wanted to deviate from the Diablo shape and challenge himself, so he created these mini ball shaped slugs with a 3D printer. I'm not sure what they're made out of though, as far as the uh, type of plastic. So let's take these Minye balls, which is a play on words, out and see if they're as successful as his previous endeavor. All right, we're gonna be shooting a uh, Minye ball sent to us by Michael Ye. Really smart kid who's gonna be a billionaire here someday. He has made these on a 3D printer. They are extremely lightweight, but you can see the uh, shape of that. Pretty cool bullet shaped. We'll see how they fly. We have a lot of confidence. We've set up some gummy bears downrange, and Michael, <laughs> we're gonna see how we drive these things downrange. Yeah, I'm pretty confident we'll hit some. <laughs> I'll aim for the gummy on the right. Oh, no, I would just go for the middle. Middle of them both? Yeah. What if I send it right between their heads all the way down? Oh, I don't know. If it's that accurate, that's... Yeah, wherever you want. All right, here we go. When you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Almost no recoil. Yeah, they were like five grams. Wow. Now, once again, I am totally proven wrong. I got home and watched this footage and watched how stable these things flew through the air and how accurate they were, and I just couldn't believe it. Now, my prediction was they were not going to be accurate at all, and they would definitely tumble through the air and boy was I wrong okay Michael so made it through bear number one we just now found out just about the time we were gonna lose hope we found something in the back of bear number two's neck so I guess it went into his you nose cut here, it open if you want his chin and for fat shadows knife corner the uh, spider co delica up oh. There well, it that's is. something else. Is that that? There it is. Look at that. There's a hollow base. It broke a little bit. Chipped off. Looks like the bottom uh, layer. But man, that thing is still in great, great shape. Up wow. Top. It's it's cold. Had a little mark on there. So that's shot number. That's promising. That's very promising. Yeah, it was accurate. I'm ready. Ready? And yep. Here we go. right next to it. Now from the mark on the plate it left, it looked like it was flying straight and true. So let's see what the high speed video looks like. As you can see, the release from the shot cup was extremely smooth and the min A ball continued on straight as an arrow, smacking into that plate. We expected it to just completely shatter when it hit the plate. And it was kind of surprising that it didn't. All right, long live the rebellion. So yeah, he took one center chest there, went right past his hose. Something went through there. It was the wait now. The Min Ye ball. There's his gun. We found his gun, so we disarmed him. <laughs> he is in California. Da 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 da. -da. At this point, I still believed that the slugs were tumbling through the air, and I thought that the damage to this doll was from the wadding and not from the slug. But sure as heck, the slug was again performing extremely well, very stable, and very accurate, just driving right through the chest of that plastic storm, stormtrooper thingy or whatever it is. Okay. Try to get one of those flies. I'm going to try to get Stuart to stunt fly. <laughs> if he'll go back down in the mouth. Come on, Stuart. Hit it. Anytime you're ready. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, Clay, Clay took it right there in the uh, in his right eye. You can see that slug buried in there nice and deep. Yeah. You got and it. Some cool little... It's a piece of wadding and... Some wadding, some cool little plastic shards that are busted off of him. 
Yeah, the, the clay is actually pretty abusive to objects hitting it, we found. It not only deformed it, but it has broken it into pieces. The nose of it stayed pretty whole. But yeah, it deformed that thing side to side. How, how deep of a cavity did I make? What is it, about uh, five or six inches? Yeah. Now I used a completely different type of wadding on this shot. It was a fiber wadding instead of a plastic one, so that's why all that junk was in the uh, clay. So it, it definitely didn't work as well as the plastic wadding, but I just wanted to try something differently on one shot. And once again, Michael totally proved me wrong. I predicted these to be a disaster and fly sideways and we would miss everything that we shot at. So we shot at everything very close range, about 12 feet away. And we could have put it much further and still had success. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and were as shocked as I was. Thanks for watching.